All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. It is Saturday. It's like 4 o'clock. My noon upload has been flying by me, and I didn't get it done in time, so I'm sorry if I'm a little behind. I need to shave my beard. Uh, I need a haircut. I need more cars to be running. I need to go racing more. There's a lot of things I need to do, but one thing I needed to do was get you a video to say, Hey, Laura, come here. Let's see. Let's see. No, no, put those back on. I think you need to show the people what you look like with the face gaskets on. Just try them on. What are these again? They're they're called eye protection, yeah. safety glasses. I know that. What are they? You know I've seen things. Is this gonna look stupid? No, you look like you're ready to. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to fly a biplane. So as you guys saw by the thumbnail and title of this video, we are moving along with new intakes here, and this has a lot to do with. The Silverback Z06 and the Black Sheep because, uh, as you guys know, the Black Sheep is having a number of issues uh, with what seems to be a boost leak that we cannot locate. Uh, let me just update you guys on the intake that we have here. Uh, this is a lower manifold off of like a blower, like what you see off like a roots or screw blower. So this is a big cast piece and it's what the injectors go in it is what the fuel rails attach to it is what bolts to the uh the the top of the motor here as you can see so it's a two-piece intake because as you can see this this comes off so the lower half is like what you'd run on a blower setup uh, that's why the fuel rails are, are so far over and it's not ideal and i'm sure you guys why this here is just like a a backyard built turbo hat as some people would call it uh, it's just the top end of a non blower setup and if you just pick this thing up look at that's that's all the air the air's got to go in there not a massive plenum by any means uh, i wouldn't say it's super great for promoting high flow but that's what came on the car and that's what we've been we've been running so Right now we're suffering for from some boost leak issues, what seems to be a boost leak issue because I said it in the other video, this thing is attached to the motor directly, one to one. So as RPM increases, blower speed and boost increases. So there's no reason why RPM should increase and boost would flatline unless there's a leak somewhere. So that's what we have going on and we have I'm pinpointing it to, it's got to be somewhere in here and here. I could be wrong, but either way, this intake isn't helping us. So I reached out to the guys at Wilson's Manifold, and they do all of the billet. They do sheet metal. They do a bunch of different intakes, and, and they'll do custom spec to your needs. Um, so I reached out to them and said, hey, is this something you guys could do? And they're like, yes. So um, that's where I'm leaning towards right now. I'm leaning towards doing like a, a custom Wilson manifold because it is going to get rid of that lower blower cast thing that I don't really like. Um, but moving forward into other intakes, we'll go over here to Super Victors. And right here, this is what we ran on the Boosted Rooster. This is your standard Cathedral Port Super Victor. I went out and copped a LS7 Super Victor for Chris, and on top of that, we are going to put that glorious Wilson Billet Elbow, which I, uh, I misplaced. I don't know where it went. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Look at it. It's just hiding over here. So this guy, if you remember, this is probably one of my favorite pieces that was on the Boosted Rooster. Uh, not only does it look badass and is it cool, but the car never, ever, ever reacted as awesome as it did when it had this on there so this was the setup on the boosted rooster and it is just you know cathedral port super victor wilson billet elbow this is their two-piece elbow with a little divider so i think it's like a dual plane is what they call it and then i ran like a war 102 throttle body um, and then we're calling this guy back into action but the boosted rooster's gone it's not going on salty chicken it is going to be on the silverback z06 with the ls7 super victor so as you guys can tell, a little bit of difference here between Super Victors, um, Cathedral Port on the left, LS7 on the right. LS7 is much bigger, it is much taller, it is no joke. I mean, this thing is a stout piece. If you look down inside of it, you can see that thing is just promoting great flow. Not that this one isn't, but you can see the difference. This one is going to move a whole lot of air. Um, both are 4150s, they're not the 4500s. 
For what we're doing, um, we don't really need a 4500. So this right here is also a 4150, and that is the opening right here on the bottom. So as you guys can see, this matches up perfect, just like that. Uh, we do have to run it with a build adapter, so it will sit even higher. But get it all, all squared away there. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. I'm totally a sucker for a Wilson billet elbow and not only are we running the billet elbow but we run over here i got it all taped up so don't judge me it was just like just for mock-up reasons because this thing's going to stick like two miles out of the hood we have a wilson manifolds Let's see if we can get to zoom in there billet 105 throttle body this here is a pretty gnarly piece and this will be the throttle body that chris is going to use on the silverback so It'll be looking something like that. That right there is sexy. I'm digging that. God, so much billet. So now my question to you guys is, do we send this off and get this polished? Do we just go polished everything so everything's just shining? Or do we leave this cast? But I think this is going to look pretty gnarly sticking out of the hood of the Silverback. It's going to be up pretty high. And I'm a fan. You guys know I'm a fan of the stock style hoods. Stock style hood back on this one. I got a stock hood on the cow. Uh, the Boosted Rooster when we had it did have a stock hood on there. Chris's car, if we can keep the stock hood and just stick the intake out of it, uh, the elbow and, and the throttle body, I think that would look pretty sick. Uh, but the next stop for this guy is going to be going down to Jason Brazel shop, and it is going to get the turbo kit fabbed up, and it should be pretty sick. Uh, we're heading up to TKM, uh, the Kevin Mullins shop on Monday, where we're going to drop off the motor. Uh, we'll get some machine work done to that, and he is pretty much the... He's the guy to go to for high-end machine work on high horsepower applications, whether it's LS, big block, small block, uh, nitrous, turbos. I mean, he is, he, I'd say he's more of a turbo guy, but I think he does it all. Uh, but he is, he makes some badass motors. Uh, and, and what he does, he offers uh, what they call like a top, top fuel hoop, or some of you guys know it as a receiver groove, an O-ring, O-ring head, and that's running a copper head gasket with a wire ring in there. That is like the next level up, opposed to a standard gasket. So uh, the motor for the salted chicken, will have that done. And uh, so yeah, so we got some motors we got to bring up there too, and we got a bunch of engines laying around, as you guys can see, sitting over here, that need to get machine work done. So we're gonna have a truckload going up to him uh, to get work done, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So the, uh, the status update that we have is brown sugar just needs to have the band tightened. Cow has a new converter from a bruisey racing transmission sitting right here. Pow, ready to go back in. Uh, so I just gotta switch the pumps in those transmissions, put the transmission back in the cow and we're back at the track. Brown sugar just needs to have the band tightened and then it is back at the track. Uh, we need to figure out the boost leak issue. Now the, the Wilson intake manifold situation is more of a long-term fix so we're still going to be hunting for the issue on this uh, i got a valve spring tool coming in on monday so we'll be able to check and go over the valve springs if we have some weak ones we can switch those out because i do have extras and we're trying to get this thing ready 100 percent for this thursday and for august 10th so august 10th is streetcar takeover maryland where we will be attending uh, if we can we do it with this and the cow i think that'd be a pretty cool uh setup to have both cars up there i know a bunch of guys are going up there and it should be a great event so we are moving grooving around here um other than that what else do we have going on laura is there anything else going on no we're up to date yeah, I just oh we wrote our shop rules look at that sweep every night Y'all are grown, act like it. Well, we appreciate that. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, Wes's motor, oh yeah, this is the last final update. Uh, Wes's motor is... I know, I know. Wes's birthday, when you guys are watching this video, Wes's birthday is tomorrow. So everyone wish Wes a happy birthday. Uh, we just need to put the top end together, just do a trunnion upgrade to his factory rockers, and um, then put ITC billet valley cover plate on it um put some valve covers on it and he is done just take an oil pan front cover and it's ready to go in the car so we'll be having the monique build series coming up shortly which i'm excited for um i can't wait for that because i'm trying to ditch one g body and then we'll just take its place with another one so uh, if we get rid of brown sugar we'll take monique and replacement and get that thing rolling pretty quick so old girl did well at the track the other night i'm still heartbroken we didn't get a time slip but that's part of that's part of racing, so. 
Uh, other than that, we got the new LS Nasty hats in the description below, as well as the LS Nasty YouTube channel. So if you don't subscribe to it, go over and check that out because we got some different stuff. We'll put some shorter videos, some messing around, just some behind the scenes stuff that doesn't really kind of fit in the vlog style. Uh, videos. So, right now I'm about to head to Red Springs with Laura. Or are you excited to go to the racetrack? Yes. How excited? I'm so excited because you're gonna let me drive. So excited because I'm on their drive. We're not racing. We're just going out. Kai Kelly's at Red Springs, and uh, we're gonna watch some grudge racing. That's that's always a good venue out there to go watch some racing. So, um, be sure to check out tomorrow's video where we have Kai Kelly. Maybe I'll go over there and just start talking smack to him. But who knows? Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.